Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again one more time. Listen, I just want to give you guys a little quick update on what we're working on, codingphase.com. Uh, there's a lot of people that are working with me building this Shopify application, which is part of the Shopify app developer career bundle which is also part of the shopify app developer uh pretty much career pathway so if you're interested in this uh pretty much this is what we're working on okay so we're building a, a utm application to create links for either the products or the collections for let's say for a store and we're basically working on uh, the front end part of things we are using react we are using uh, laravel we are using react router we are using graphql uh, we're using also regular expressions okay and we're using shopify's app bridge components okay so just to give you guys a, a quick preview of what we're doing let me show you right now so pretty much this is the application currently right now we haven't gotten to the part where we're going to do the dashboard yet we're going to do this at the end this is probably one of the final parts of the course uh, but basically right now we have the things already laid out exactly how we want it to to look uh, from there we have a section where you can create new links and you can choose from products that are inside of the store so let's say for example somebody comes in installs this application inside of the store all of their products is going to show up right here they can search by the name of the product so they could say adidas right and search for that and all of the products that are part of adidas or adidas whatever you want to call it <laughs> uh it's going to show up right here okay let's say somebody chooses one product and they say i want to create a link for this they click add then from there they get to see this page which is all automatically uh you know pre-filled with the url for the product at the same time we give them a preview of the image of the product we give them the title of the product we give them a link preview of the product and then from there they can actually come here and add all of their uh utm tags like let's say if they wanted to share this in instagram they could come in and say hey this is coming from instagram the medium is profile link okay then from there we have the campaign name so we could say uh instagram promo if they have any terms for example if this was a advertisement they could put in the keywords so they could say something like i don't know adidas backpack right then campaign content you can put in in here like uh banner five so pretty much right here it generates the link for them okay and it gives them the right link for the product itself now what's cool about this tool is that we also added a feature to add the discount codes so with shopify you can create discount codes for either the whole store or you could create a discount code for a specific product so if they want to also add a discount code for this product we can also do this here so i'm going to show you guys how it looks on a regular link so this is just a regular link with no discount code right you could click here go to uh basically to this page and automatically it has everything in here if you click on buy it now automatically the information of it is going to show up okay of course we have no discount code so we don't have to do anything for this now if the person does have a discount code for example like this one uh, which is 50 july 4 they add 50 july 4 the link is actually a different link uh, so this is how actually um, shopify does their link so they say domain then they put in discount and then the discount code and then from there they do a redirect depending on what query params you pass into it if it's for a product you have to pass in the products and then the actual slug of the product which is right here so then now if we select all of this you can see here that we have 
uh, link directly to the product and then from there we click on buy it now and then the actual discount is gonna show up for uh, the store owners or for the customers that they're trying to promote their product to okay so like I said this is a super useful application now this is just the front end part now we're actually going to jump into uh, the back end part when it comes to databases right so currently right now all of this is done through the front end if we was to refresh this page we lose all of the data so nothing gets saved right we don't have a, a save feature we don't have nothing here working yet now we're gonna go in and work on the back end part which is uh, literally setting up uh, database migrations uh, setting the database structure of how this application is going to work we're also going to have short links so when somebody comes in and saves this they're gonna have the full link right here and then down here they're gonna have a short link so once you save this is going to save into the database then from there from the database is going to generate a short link to this product and then from there we're gonna have something like this utm app dot test so imagine if our applications website was utm app.com right currently right now we're using for lo local de development we have utm app dot test and then let's say a short code could be like this like some characters some numbers and then when they share this link is going to pretty much use a redirect that is going to redirect them to the full url okay now the short link is is great because you can also share it to anybody and, and it's a short link that you could put it on twitter facebook wherever you put it and you don't have to go and paste this super long url okay so for store owners you know the marketing team this is super useful at the same time we're also going to give it a feature where they can create custom links uh, depending on the tier that they're on so like let's say somebody comes in and says you know what I'm on the basic tier so the basic tier gets only 10 links that they can create right but if we go in and create another tier which is for a pay subscription then they're gonna be able to come here and say you know what instead of me having this random uh, URL I could come here and create a custom URL so for example Adidas backpack right and if it's available that all they have to do is just share this link utm app.test slash adidas backpack and this is going to give them this full uh url link with all of the query params so they could keep track of of the marketing side of things and the next stage that we're going to add to this application is a view all links section where they can see all of their links that they have created you know sorted by dates sorted by you know how many links clicks have they had um, you know sorted by uh, what type of platform they're using so for example if it's on Instagram if it's on Twitter if it's on uh, YouTube etc right we're gonna create that section here which is gonna be the view all links and then from there the next stage after that we're gonna be working on what it's the dashboard right so with all of this data that we are basically accumulating here for each store we're going to give them the information in a report on their dashboard where they could see on a daily basis hey uh this is my daily report uh how many people have clicked on the links which one is the most popular uh you know social network or a social media account or platform right wherever campaign source they're using if it's Instagram Twitter YouTube Pinterest right we want to create a dashboard that shows them all of this okay so as you guys can see is a full stack application this is like a real application that every single one of you guys if you guys add this to your portfolio you can actually have something solid that a company might say mm, like you guys build something here something special right because there's a lot of different things that you're going to be able to use uh to build 
this type of application. Like we're talking about connecting to Shopify's admin API, which is with GraphQL, uh, connecting to, you know, your database, right? Setting up your database itself, right? Then from there you have uh, working on a framework like Laravel, working on a framework like React, being able to communicate from the front end to the back end, uh, creating API requests, right? Creating API routes, etc. right? Like there's so many different things. Like we even got into regular expressions, how to use them. I give you guys an example, uh, like where we actually using it. So like, let's say for example, Shopify gives us a product URL. And with this product URL, we want to break this down and get certain information out of this URL. So you can use regular expressions to say, okay, this is the full product URL. We know from here to here, this is the store URL, which is something that we need to be able to create uh, the links, right? And then from there, we know that anything beyond the last uh, slash right here is actually the slug of the product. So Shopify actually doesn't provide us the slug of the product because a user can go ahead and change the slug of the product or change um, you know, the information of the product in the future. So Shopify doesn't really give us that. So we have to use regular expressions to say, okay, this right here is the URL. This right here, we know is the string for, for products. Then from there is the slug. Okay. So we use two different type of regular expressions, one to get the URL and another one to get the actual slug. So we teach you all of those things that this is stuff that I wish I would have known when I was first started learning how to code, you know, because this is the type of things that you do in production applications. Like, you know, you're trying to uh, build something that, you know, most likely it's not on the internet, right? Like a lot of times, you know, you look online and you might say, Hey, how can I get the slug of the Shopify or, or Shopify URL or something like that? Right. And a lot of times, uh, people might not have it. You might be the first one asking that question. Okay. So let's say you're working at a company. If you didn't know how to use regular expressions, you wouldn't be able to figure out how can you get this if the API doesn't give you this, this information as a variable by itself, how do I get this out of a string? So things like this is like small little nuggets and, and little gems that I wish somebody would have taught me when I was first uh, learning how to code. And that's why we're adding this project. It might seem simple to some people and they say, well, Joe, all you're really doing is just getting the products, right? coming in and displaying the products. Okay. And then just getting the URL and then just adding into a string, uh, the different query params and you're right. But the process of getting to that, that's where it's difficult, right? And I'm not gonna say it's difficult because anybody with a year of experience or two years of experience as a developer, uh, might be able to get this. Uh, but for a junior developer, it's like, you're getting that exposure of how to put all of these little things together to build a full stack application. And that's what I'm trying to do with this project guys. You know, this right here is a real application that I'm planning to deploy myself. So not only are we building all of the different features for this application, but then we're also going to deploy it and we're going to deploy it two ways. We're going to deploy it one way with Heroku. So it could be free for you guys. And then from there, we're going to be using uh, Laravel uh, Vapor. So, you know, if you guys haven't checked this out, go check it out serverless php platform uh it's a great platform it allows you to just focus on your code focus on your project you get to uh deploy your application it deploys it to aws and then from there once you deploy it to aws you know it also does like auto scaling so if let's say for example right now in the beginning you might have only i don't know a uh, hundred uh stores right but then out of nowhere, somebody shares your link, uh, Shopify puts it on their homepage or somehow you become a trending application. You don't want that your server start crashing because you don't know how to deal with that type of traffic. So using something like Laravel vapor, it allows you to just focus on the product. And if it goes, you know, starts blowing up and starts getting huge, right? 
you just focus on the code and vapor will go in and handle the rest of it you get what i'm saying so let's say for example in one day you have you know 500 or a thousand stores that are using this you know, your website's not going to crash. You get what I'm saying? Like automatically this is going to be able to scale. Now for this type of application, it, it shouldn't be able to, to crash because for you to crash like a server, you have to get like a lot of traffic, but there's applications that use the scripts tag API, right? or it's not really the script tags API. It's just, uh, you're using, uh, the admin API or the front end API to put script tags within a Shopify theme. So that means that that URL that you have, right. For your JavaScript file that maybe you're creating a pop-up or maybe you're creating a drop down menu for I don't know, for some store or something, whatever application you might come up with that you need a script tag. Like, let's say, for example, if you're getting a whole bunch of different requests to that script tag, and let's say a website like fashionnova.com goes in and uses your, your actual uh, Shopify application, then uh, fashion Nova might have like, you know, a hundred thousand, 500,000 users at a time right? It's a super popular store. So if your application is, is using JavaScript and it's actually loading from your server. Okay. In that situation, right. Or doing a whole bunch of get requests or post requests to your servers, right. Then it will crash. If you just have like your application on namecheap.com or, or you put it on GoDaddy or something like that. Right. Or even if you put it on the AWS server, but you're not maintaining that server, it's going to crash because it, it won't be able to handle that much traffic at the same time. So vapor allows you to take that worried uh, out of your head and you could just focus on the product itself. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff that we're adding to this application, man. You know, I, I hope that a lot of you guys come in and, and, and get this done because you're going to learn a lot, man. Not only can you make money out of this type of applications, but then you're going to learn how to build full stack applications and putting things together that maybe you thought that it was difficult, but in reality it's actually easy. Because if you find a certain formula and you follow it through, like how we do it here at coding phase, you could see that any project that you could think of, you can build it is just by breaking it down and taking one step at a time. Okay. And that's what we're doing with this course. Okay. As you can see, we're focusing on the front end, getting the things that, you know, needs the application to uh, basically run. And then from there we focus on the back end, and then we come back to the front end, work on the things that we need to, uh, you know, fix or add extra features, etc. Right? So this is how you actually be able to create applications on your own without having a huge team, which also makes you super valuable when you go and apply to a job, because now you can show, Hey, I got two, three applications on Shopify and I have, you know, 5,000 users or, you know, 3,000 users or 3,000 stores that have, you know, maybe 50,000 users each. So then now those are things that you could go into your resume and say, Hey man, we serve uh, 150,000 uh, users or, Hey, we serve uh, 300 stores and we got about, I don't know, a hundred thousand unique visitors per minute or whatever it might be. You get what I'm saying? Like when you go in and you put those type of projects in, inside of your portfolio, it raises eyebrows because you're doing things that the company that you're about to start working for, right? That's what they're going to have you doing. Okay. So this is what we're doing guys. Just giving you guys a little quick update on what I'm up to and the guys here at codingphase.com. All right. So definitely go check it out. If you guys want to know a little bit more about it, all you have to do is go to codingphase.com. Uh, also you could go through the description i'll have like a, a couple of links below uh, to give you guys some discounts for those of you guys that want to sign up but if you guys want to follow with the timeline there you go this is what we're working on shopify app developer right now you know all of this courses is 
part of the monthly subscription or you could just buy it with the bundle or if you're a yearly member you get access to everything anyways you know what i'm saying but this is the order of all the courses that i recommend for people to learn okay and the course that we're working on right now is advanced shopify app development with php laravel so come through guys man this is a, a super cool project and yeah you're gonna enjoy it man i'll see you guys later just giving you guys a quick update take care guys peace